Hello and welcome to Chrome Computing. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a PIN for your Chromebook rather than entering your password every day. So it's really good and it's quite convenient. However, before you do that, and this is speaking from experience, be careful because one problem is if you start using your PIN every day to log into your Chromebook, you'll get to a stage three months down the line where you may no longer remember what your password is for your Google account. Because if you're using your phone, for example, to access emails and Google Drive, you don't put in your password, you just enter your PIN to access your phone and then your accounts are all there. And it's the same with your Chromebook. Once you start entering a PIN, then over time you may get to a stage where you forget your password. Now you may think, oh, that's no big deal. All I would need to do is to recover my password. I've got it set up to my phone or another email address as well, so I can easily change my password, it's no problem. However, that's not strictly true because what you will find is, um, although you can change your password by recovery options, when you do that, when you then log into your Chromebook, it will ask you for your new password, which you'll know, but then it will ask you for your old password. And the reason it asks you for your old password is because any files you have stored locally, which is why I'd recommend you try not to store files locally, any files you've got stored locally are encrypted with your password. So even if you change your password, you'll never get access to them files unless you know the password, what them files were stored under. So that's something you need to be really careful of. Obviously, if you know your old password, you put it in and that's it. All the encryption then goes over to your new password, but you still need to know your old password first. So before setting up a PIN, make sure you're not going to be in a position a few months down the line where you go to do something and then you realize you've forgotten your password. Because there's certain things, which I'll show you now, there's certain things you do on a Chromebook that will still ask you for your password, whether you've got a pin set up or not. And that's for extra security purposes. And that's when you'd possibly come along, uh, come, come across the problem of, ah, uh, I forgot my password. So anyway, now I gave you that warning. So please remember that. Make sure if you're going to use it, don't forget your password down the line. So from here, go to the system tray down here and then status bar and then go to cog here to go into your settings. And then from there, you want to go to people. And from people, you want to go to security and sign in. Click on that. And here you will see it's asked me for a password. And this would have asked me for a password even if I had a PIN set up. I don't have a PIN set up at the moment because that's what I'm going to show you. But if I did have a PIN set up, it would still ask me for my password. So you still need to make sure you remember your password. Sorry, I'm feeling really self-conscious, but my password is on recording. Right, so um, there we go. So from here, you've got your password only. And then we've got PIN or password. So you click on PIN or password and then it will say set up pin. So you click on that and then you put in your pin. It will ask you to put it in once. So I'll put in a really simple one, which it has actually says pin may be easy to guess, but I'm just doing it to show you. So I'll type that in on my keys, numerical keys, or you can obviously use a pad to do it as well. Press continue and it will ask you to enter it again. And then you, there you go, it's all set up. This here is really handy. Unlock automatically once PIN is entered. I'm glad they've got this because it's it's a strange one. Whenever you used to enter something, it would always be that you'd have to hit a return key. However, technology has changed a bit and you, a lot of new software has got to the habit of if you're entering a PIN and there's a defined character set such as this is going to be six, you shouldn't have to then press enter. It's just, I know it sounds really lazy, but all them little tiny extra steps can be, be be frustrating. So this takes that away. So if you didn't have that on, you would have to enter your pin and then you would have to enter enter. However, because your pin's gonna be six characters long anyway, you might as well leave that selected. And then what that will do is, all right, once we turn to my pin, Right, what that will do is it, when you enter your PIN, it will automatically just log you in without having to press an enter key. So it's really good. I'm not going to show you how it looks because I did try to do that on a video I've just done before this and it wipes the video. So unfortunately, I can't get to that screen to show you how it looks. But what you will see is if you either, you can either, once you've done it, you can test it by going 
to lock here and it will lock you and then it will show you now that you've got a pin to enter or you can leave it until you've logged out log back in you'll see you've got a pin set up so that's a really good way of being able to access your chromebook on a daily basis and it is really good to use because if you're like me i like to use quite long passwords um, to keep it secure and it can be quite fiddly having to enter them every day just the danger is please make sure you don't forget your pin if you like the video please like below and subscribe to the channel for future videos and thanks for watching